Hi, Longmont. My name is Karen Stallard. I'm the membership director with the Longmont Area Chamber of Commerce. The Longmont Chamber has been working hard to support our local businesses and connect the community during this challenging time because we don't think that being physically distanced means that we can't still socially connect and support one another. So I'd like to tag in Jessica Wanasek, the Chamber Event Director, to tell you a little bit about what we've been up to. Hey everyone, so the Longmont Chamber of Commerce has been hosting daily Facebook Live events Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. over on our Chamber Facebook page. We are featuring a local business or a nonprofit while having fun interactive activities, giveaways, and just connecting with our community. We wanted to share the fun with you after the fact, so we are airing all of our episodes from last week with you here now so you can enjoy. And we hope that you see some familiar faces from around Longmont. And remember, if you ever want to see the live thing, just tune into the Chamber Facebook page at 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Or check out a themed list of businesses over on our Chamber website. www.longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. And find a business that you would like to support. Enjoy the show! Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for uh, joining us today. Um, we're just going to give a second here for, we're going to let the audience kind of come in and get comfortable. Um, we are so excited. We are um, on our way into what we're on Wednesday of our um, Businesses Open Facebook Live event. So we're just going to give it a, a few minutes here, just maybe another second or two. Um, we're going to let the audience come in. Um, hi, everybody. That I see you. I see you out there. Uh, let us know you're here by commenting in the comments. Another second here. Um, well, first off, I'd like to introduce myself. Um, if you don't know already, my name is Jessica Wanasek. I am the event director with the Longmont Chamber of Commerce. Um, so excited to have you guys here today. Uh, like I said, we are continuing our uh, Facebook Live. Uh, Longmont is open for business, even though it's not business as usual, but um, we are kicking off today. This is our very first uh, We Shop Wednesday. So we're going to do a little bit of retail therapy um, with, an, with an exciting guest today. So we're so happy to have you. Um, we are really proud to be able to showcase all of our amazing businesses um, who have changed the way that they're doing operations during these days. Um, and we hope that you guys, you know, we're having a great time doing this. We hope that you out there in the audience are enjoying these little windows into uh, what these local businesses are, are doing for you. So glad to have you aboard. Um, you can also check out the complete list of businesses um, that we have over on uh, the Longmont Chamber page. And that is um, www.longmontchamber.org. Uh, forward slash we speak Longmont um, and you'll find it underneath um, the Longmont is open tab so you will see that and you'll also see it I'm running you'll see it kind of going across the screen uh, on the bottom here so let us know that you guys are here by commenting um, we have an exciting giveaway that we're going to be doing at the end of today's stream so we won't know that you're here unless you say hello so hello everybody so with that being said, uh, the retail business that we are um, highlighting today for We, Sh we Shop Wednesday is Ivy Rose. Um, they are an adorable little boutique uh, full of on-trend clothing, um, jewelry, and accessories for uh, women of every generation. So with that, I would like to introduce um, the owner of Ivy Rose, Miss Rosemary Beaker. She'll be with us. There she is. Hi, Rosemary. Hi. How are you today? Yeah. Wonderful. Beautiful day. Sunshine streaming in the window of my store. So. Oh, I know. I love it. I love it. And um, we're, we're so happy to have you here and, and showcase a little bit of um, what you're going to show us today. So um, I would like to kind of ask you, I guess, let us know a little bit about what um, Ivy Rose is doing. How long have you guys been in business? We've been in business two and a half years, so we're pretty new to downtown Longmont, um, but we're loving it, and we love our customers, and it's been fun to be here and giving the women of Longmont a place to go and get something uh, new to wear. 
which is which is needed. I, I'm kind of a clothes horse myself. I, I love shopping and and I love um, the the boutiques and all that. They're so cute and adorable. Um, where are you located exactly? Let everybody know where you guys are. We're at 520 Main Street, uh, right downtown. Um, we're a couple doors down from the Roost and a couple doors up from Michael Shea's. So kind of a little restaurant row here. Um, so, and we're on the east side of the street. Awesome. Well, that now everybody will know where you are. They have no excuses to not come see you when you get open, right? Yes, hopefully we'll, we're opening soon, another well, couple of weeks or so. That And that leads me into my next question is, um, tell us a little bit about your hours of operation these days. Well, right now we're only able to shop virtually. So uh, the general public can't come in. Uh, but you can see everything that's in the store through a FaceTime appointment or a Zoom appointment. And uh, then we also post things on Instagram and Facebook and also on our website. So you're able to um, see something there and you can give us a call or shoot us an email or message us and we can process that order over the phone. We'll do curbside pickup. We'll deliver to your house if you're pretty close or... Aww. Uh, ship it to you for free. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So you you found a way to adapt and, and keep business going somewhat, which is which is great. We'd love to hear that. Absolutely. Yep. Now, um, I know the state, we're kind of slowly starting to move into that re reopening phase, that this very delicate, um, slow reopening of stuff. So can you share a little bit? What do you think your reopening um, strategy will look like? Well, we will continue always to do, if someone wants to do a virtual shop, if they're, you know, want to be completely safe, we'll still do the virtual shopping. Um, but we will also do private shopping by appointment. So someone can come in uh, just one-on-one -on -one time with, with me and shop the store. Uh, what we'll do is that, similar to what we do with virtual shopping, we'll have a rolling rack. We call, we're going to call it our white glove service. And that I will pull out the clothes for people so they don't have to like touch everything. So I will just pull things, we'll go through the store, we'll grab items that you like, we'll put them on a rolling rack. And then once we have those selected, you're able to try them on. And when you're done trying them on, the things that you don't want, we're gonna put on a, like a little quarantine rack and yeah. have it sit for 24 or 48 hours, depending on what the guidelines tell us as far as you know how long a virus might live on the fabric. And yeah. So we'll put that aside so that um, we know that those have already been tried on and keeping everybody safe. Um, we'll also have marks on the floor where, you know, six feet are from like the register and we'll have hand sanitizers and uh, we'll probably have gloves available so people can put on a fresh pair of gloves and walk through the store. So we'll, that shopping by appointment will be in, important um, I would imagine we'll have limited hours to start. Uh, right. Probably won't be open the same as we have been in the past, but limited hours, but always shopping by appointment for individuals and small groups. Very cool. It sounds like you've got it all kind of planned out. And we look forward to the day where, you know, we can be on, move beyond the appointments and just come in and say hi to you. We, I am, I know I am, I'm an extrovert. And so I am missing that. I'm a people person and I'm missing my people right now. So I, I totally agree. I'm missing my people too. And, and um, getting the feedback with, from the clothes and yeah, having people in here. So. Um, oh, absolutely. Hopefully it's now um, for people to schedule their um, appointments and all that, do they just go to your website? Yeah, they can go to any social media, um, okay. Instagram, Facebook, uh, our website, there's an email, there's a phone number and I, um, any way they feel comfortable reaching out to us, we're, we're here for them. Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, I want to, I know Monday, um, I think was my first day that I actually put on real clothes other than my day sweat. So I am, I know I'm looking forward to today's uh, demonstration and, and I'm already eyeballing a couple pieces behind you. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but before I turn it over to you, I want to, um, let everybody know who's tuning in. We see you. Keep commenting. Um, one lucky winner is actually going to, or actually one lucky viewer who comments is going to win a virtual, is it $25 gift card from you today? $25 gift card and we can email that to them so they can get it right away. 
awesome. That's awesome. Okay. So for those of you guys who are tuning in, I have a little challenge for you. It's a fill in the blank. Okay. And this is how we are going to pick our lucky winner today. Um, so here's your fill in the blank. My favorite item in my closet is blank. And when you get that, post it in the comments so we can see that. And um, I am going to now turn it over to you, Rosemary. You have the show and uh, show us some goodies. All right, I will do that. Well, we were really lucky that today is Wednesday and we call it Wardrobe Wednesday. And each Wednesday we try to put together a collection of mix and match items that create a mini wardrobe for you. And we can start from scratch with something in our store or we can use something that you have, a favorite piece or a favorite two pieces, and we can build a wardrobe around that piece or those pieces for you. So what I did today is I have these lovely dress forms as my models today, and all of us together create this mini wardrobe for Wardrobe Wednesday. So I'm gonna walk you through the pieces and let you know kind of what inspired me to put it together and how it all works together and how it might work in your wardrobe. And we usually start with one piece. So this was a piece that I started with. It's a little dress with some lace on the bottom and it's got some pretty colors in it. So those colors in the dress kind of build the whole wardrobe. So things kind of coordinate from a, a color tone um, and a pattern. So we're gonna start over here with a jean jacket over a striped dress. And I know, I hear this a lot, that you don't like stripes because they make you, especially horizontal stripes, because they might make you look a little bit um, wider than you want to be. But don't be afraid of stripes. There's a stripe for every body type, and it just depends on how thick they are and how the uh, item is designed. So this one has a little panel with vertical stripes here and horizontal stripes here. So it's quite flattering to a lot of figure types. It's also a little bit longer. For those tall people out there, this would be a good dress to go to. And I have put it with a white jean jacket. And a jean jacket is a must in almost every wardrobe, be it white, blue, green, black. You can layer a jean jacket over a lot of different things, especially in Colorado. The Colorado girls know how to rock a jean jacket. So this one I put um, over the dress for now, but it could go over almost everything in this wardrobe for you. The second item, second dress form, is a little bit dressier top. It's a blouse. It's a very lightweight blouse. And for those of us that are doing a lot of Zoom meetings these days, this is a good business look uh, for you. And later you can put it over, put it under a blazer in your wardrobe. I've paired it with uh, black cropped skinny jeans and they're cuffed and you can put the cuff up or put the cuff down. So again, these pants would be great uh, in an office setting back in the business world. Um, then we come to the dress that I started this whole wardrobe with and I put the dress with a, a very lightweight wrap and I tied it here on the, on the um, dress form, but this wrap can also be um, just worn down and loose. So it's very similar to what I'm wearing. Uh, it's got a little asymmetrical line on it. Uh, so you can wear it either way, depending on your mood or depending on the style of the dress you're wearing it with. This dress we've had in several different uh, colorways over the years, and it's perfect again with a jean jacket. It's also great with cowboy boots. You could put leggings under it if you were a little bit taller and uh, of course, flip-flops, it might even be good for a, um, a bathing suit cover-up. So very versatile dress. It has a, um, just a, a thick strap on top, so very easy to wear for a lot of different body types. Then moving on, we have just a tank top. It looks very similar. This one was self-knotted, but this one, actually, I pulled it through the belt loop. So it's just a very simple tank has a lot of cool colors and it's got black and yellow and red and blue. And so you can wear it with quite a few things. Um, it would go well, and I'm part of the, the wardrobe here too. I have this uh, pink coral top or wrap and a tank top here. So this would go over this quite well. 
And then these genes, we do very well with this, this kind of a gene. It's um, not distracting. And again, this would make a good business casual look. It would pair well with a blazer. You could also use this white jean jacket from over there, the black wrap, um, the pink wrap here. So quite a few things to put with these jeans. And I want to talk a little bit about what I'm wearing. I am wearing button fly jeans, which are super trendy right now. So if you don't have uh -huh. button flies in your wardrobe, uh, you should uh, try some on. They're pretty fun to wear. Also, I have white jeans on. And again, like the stripes, I've heard a lot, oh, I can't wear white jeans. <laughs> you should try white jeans. You'll find they're a good staple in your wardrobe. But we do have these jeans in a blue color, too, if you really, really can't do the white. I love the tone of tone. So I have a tank top on with this wrap. And I think this is a great uh, combination that you can put on uh, with any bottom. So white jeans, blue jeans, black jeans. So a tone on tone, be it black and black, white on white is always a good look and an easy way to uh, create a wardrobe for yourself. Lastly, we have this um, beautiful lace dress, uh, wonderful straps for it. And this again, will go far in your wardrobe. You can dress it up with like a pair of um, canvas uh, or, or espadrille shoes. You could dress it down with cowboy boots. You could put, got the white jean jacket over here. You put that over it. If you're dressy or you could put this black cardigan over it. Um, or you can just wear it with flip flops. So lots of ways to wear that dress um, in the summer, especially now that it's getting a little bit hotter outside. So this is our wardrobe, and it was fun to be able to bring it to you live. And like I said, we do these every Wednesday. So there's lots of, um, lots of ideas that we can uh, bring to inspire you. Awesome. Well, um, you can talk me. I want one of everything. Just one of, one of each. Things. Yeah, just put it in my basket, and I'll be over to pick it up. And I, let, me tell you, let me tell you, too, that um, we, we keep things as affordable as possible. So for the most part, um, uh, nothing in our store is over $69. So our tops are in the like um, $25 to $39 range and our dresses are $39, $49, $59. $39. So um, very affordable and we can do a virtual shopping tour for you and we can put a, a mini wardrobe together uh, for you. The other thing I wanna say too is that um, this, we have a black lace dress, so we can substitute pieces in this wardrobe to fit your body type. So if this black lace dress isn't your style, we have black knit dresses, we have black jumpsuits, we have other things that we can substitute. Same thing like with this floral dress. If that doesn't work for your body style, we have other floral dresses that we could use um, that would work well in the wardrobe. So we'll, we'll make it work for you. Super cute. I'm just, I'm having fun reading some of the comments. Um... Poor Chris McGrath said that his favorite, uh, is, his favorite item is at the cleaners. <laughs> and he dropped it off before COVID. Um, oh, no. But it's a Banana Republic soft three-button sweater. That's awesome. Um, so those of you guys who are just coming on and in the comments, we asked a question um, just a second ago, oh, a few minutes ago, about uh, to fill in the blank. And it's your, your question is, my favorite item in my closet is blank. And so we're going to take uh, your guys' comments and um, Rosemary's going to do a drawing here shortly for a virtual $25 gift card um, that you can spend in her store. So that that is exciting. So some of these comments are, are fun. Um, let's see. Holly Glessner says, thanks for doing this to our for our amazing local businesses. Cassie loves her boyfriend jeans. Um, I do, too. Some of my favorites. Uh, let's see, Karen, one pair of pants that she still fits after quarantine. <laughs> I think I think we're all kind of falling into that. We're, what did we say? At the chamber, we were saying we're, we've gained the quarantine 19. So it's it's not, not going to be pretty afterwards. But so this is fun. Um, anything else that you feel like you need to um, or you want to share with the viewers, Rosemary? Well, I, I think that um, just knowing that you can shop virtually, um, and you can shop safely by appointment. When we open up, you can do one-on-one. -on -one and, um, and then on our limited hours, we will follow um, a very strict protocol so that you can feel safe shopping in our store. And 
you know, we're here to, have, to work with you to put your wardrobe together um, with you. Oh, awesome. Okay, I am just, well, we're going to get ready to do the, the drawing here. Let me just get a count. Okay, so I, um, Rosemary, you need to pick, um, I'm going to give you a letter, okay? Okay. okay. Um, let's see, an H, a C, a T, an M. Or a G. H T C M or T. I will say C. C. All right. Let me go back to our and it is drum roll, drum roll. Our winner today is Cassie. Uh I'm not sure Gumson Anderson is our winner. Awesome. So, yay. Congrats, Cassie. Um, so what we'll do, and Rosemary, do you want, um, let's see, do you want me to connect with Cassie and, or we'll yeah. do that? And okay. then I'll, I'll get her phone number and I can call and process that over the phone. Okay. So we will, um, Cassie, I will get your information here soon, uh, as soon as we're done here and, and you will get your $25 virtual gift certificate, which is, which is fun. And then you're going to have to come back and show us what you get. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Right. That's social media posts for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're all, it seems like we're all living on social media these days. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, um, Rosemary, I want to thank you. I, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day uh, to come on and share some of the, the beautiful pieces that you have behind you and a little bit about what your store is doing um, now and in the future. So we, we look forward to it. I look forward to coming in and saying hi to you when, when I can. Yes. And for the, hopefully soon. Hopefully I soon. I know, right? Fingers they, crossed. They tell us May 9th, right? We're waiting for Boulder County to just confirm that. Yeah, that's, so. uh, I know, I'm, I'm watching that date as well. <laughs> so if you guys want to schedule um, or if you have a question or if you just want to go check out her uh, website, Rosemary's website, go to, um, it's visit ivyroselongmont.com. You can also follow her here on Facebook. Um, so go check out uh, all of the beautiful pieces that she's got going. And Rosemary, thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. This was great. Absolutely. Bye-bye. Bye Thanks. Thank you. So again, we, we really appreciate you guys checking in with us every day at four o'clock. We're having a fun time doing this. Um, we, I, we, like I said, I am missing my people. And this is a way for us to connect with you guys and the, the local uh, Longmont community and the awesome businesses and everything that you guys are doing out there. Keep up the good work. Um, we are going to continue to keep doing these live events um, as long as they're needed. You know, I see this going on into the summer. So if you're interested in being on one of these lives, um, shoot me an email. It's jwanasek at longmontchamber.org. And we will see about getting you scheduled for one of these. Um, also, tune in again tomorrow right here at 4 p.m. Uh, for our Thankful Thursday, where we're going to highlight uh, and help out a local nonprofit in the area. So please come back, stay tuned. And in the meantime, um, give I'm giving you guys a virtual hug. Give yourself a hug for me, and we'll see you back here uh, tomorrow. Stay well. Bye-bye.